I personally had a family business of opticals since 1909 and I'm the fourth generation. And in, in 2005, I realized that probably I'm doing the same thing which my next door opticians is doing. In my hometown, from optical background, I was more recognized as an optician than a clinical person. So for my own identity, I decided to shift to a new town. God has been kind. In 2018, I had my own practice. Again, only we have no dispensing. I thought, let me come out of dispensing. I've seen enough, enough of dispensing. So wanted to do something different. And this is the practice, what you see now. We, we just try to make people achieve better in their life and have a better vision. So that's what is mission and vision of Visualize. At our rehab center, we primarily work on improving quality of life of people with visual impairment that can be congenital, that can be acquired. I firmly believe that in all the clinics, what we work on is we work more on quantity of vision. So we always check the visual equity and that's it. And that visual equity talks about quantity of vision that never talks about quality of vision. We have like 40% of our patients coming to us, they have amblyopia. Uh, book says, the theory says that adult amblyopia cannot be treated. And we have over 90% success rate to that. In India especially, we are still into a place where we are so much stuff with, you know, some pre-stuff thing that, okay, this case cannot be done. That case cannot be done. Retentus pigmentosa, nothing can be done. So we actually they are visually impaired, but we label them as blind. The definition says that, but they are partially sighted. They are visually impaired. If, if a, lay, a female or a male who is a grocery seller at the roadside, illiterate patient, having challenge in you know, taking money and giving money back, they don't need any devices to read and write. What they need is how comfortably I can take it and return it. Even with closed eyes, you can count currency. Right, for an example, if I show you, this is 200 rupees note, and there's four lines and two dots in between. Oh, yeah. Yep, then there is five line here. So one has to just use their tactile. What they perceive more colors, black and white, better than any other colors. So we guide them that make sure that you have everything around in contrast. Dark and light. If you have white wall, have a dark curtain. If you have white plate, have a dark ball. Each individual patient usually take like anything between an hour and a half or even two hours. But it takes almost more than 45 minutes to one hour to just to understand history that when they wake up, what they do if they cannot see, what is their day-to-day -day routine, what they want to do in leisure time but it is hampering because of their vision issues so i prefer to work on getting all these details what they want there are times i integrate low vision and neuro optometry or vision therapy together in a way that say somebody has come down with like 2200 vision 6 by 60 and i i explain all the patients that dude you really don't have anything you know to lose you have been denied for surgery you have been, been denied for treatment no medicals no glasses nothing is going to help you do you have any option now let me give it a try let's see what helps so we start a month of neurotherapy stimulations and all even if i pull the patient from 2260 to 636 even by one line or one and a half or two lines that for that patient it's quite a lot and then I shift them to low vision. If I see still improvement going on, so I tell the patient, would you like to continue a little more? And they say, oh yes, things are getting better. Let me see how best and whatever little knowledge I have, use it to help people to achieve a better life and a comfortable life. My son had a problem of night blindness since eight to 10 years back. And we had shown many, pro many doctors in Chennai and my younger daughter, she is just come in this from two years back. 
we were diagnosed that even she cannot see at night but there is no treatment as such for night blindness till now and here we are from 40 days alhamdulillah we are my my kids are showing progress in many ways i faced a personal on a personal level i do face a, a lot of challenges in in terms of office and uh, the other personal challenges what i feel was you know when my kids come to me taking their books in hand and say papa can you please clarify these doubts and you know uh, i i was breaking into pieces that you know i'm sorry son i'm i'm not able to see these words it it was a i was in deep pain at that point of time actually the he he explained us the whole story that you know how long we have to take this session what are all the therapies we will be doing and how long this is going to take now now i can say that you know when i take my mobile i try to not 100% cure but at least 80% i try to read it without taking the screenshots when i met rajiv sir i came down to chennai the treatment got started i can see some improvement in my day to day life routine and uh, we can see some changes in ourselves we can uh, rectify we can see the difference the staff the team everybody supported us don't suffer be positive uh, accept the challenge i want that everybody should get a opportunity to see this wonderful world last but not the least what i would like to you know tell everybody is you know don't lose hope life's still beautiful even if i mean you're not visually disabled it's like you know you still have a lot of ability and probably you are seeing what has gone but you are not seeing what you have so let us work on what you have life is beautiful people are good around be positive and enjoy your life